Okay, my love, let's discuss EPO or everyone is you pushed out. Let me try to put this into a physical example, let's see. Let me try to explain to you how everyone is you pushed out works and why your SP, your money situation, anything else in your life is not something separated from you, but you take in that form. So my love, think for the sake of the example, think that you're having a bird's eye view on God. Yeah, this is God, let's say. What is God actually? It's not a man, it's not a woman. It's just existence itself, okay? Life itself. That's it. And we know about source that it is infinite. It's like there's no beginning, no end. I know this concept is very hard to grasp for our human minds, but bear with me. Imagine this is has no limits, okay? The substance out of which everything that's made is made. Think about it as this paper towel, okay? Now, how does how does God create? Well, if there's only one substance, that means that God must create from itself, right? So God says, I am this, I am light, so he becomes light, okay? This no thing, because this is just potential, okay? The all things. This no thing, this substance that's not even a substance, <laughs> is taking the form of that which it imagines itself to be. Boom, you have 3D now. You have a physical form now, okay? A differentiation. This is how source creates, my love. <clears throat> source doesn't have to affirm. Source doesn't have to work on its self-concept. <laughs> Source doesn't have to heal its traumas in order to be whatever it wants to be, okay? So let's say now that Source is taking the form of you. This is you. I know you're not so pretty, not so very accurate <laughs> representation, but just for the, the sake of the example, oops. Think of, of this differentiation as being you. And now let's zoom in a little bit. So this, God taking the form of you, yeah? Who is you? Well, you're a very unique point of view of God with your unique beliefs, experiences, preferences, opinions, yeah? You're very unique and you must be unique in order for God to be able to experience exactly who you are, yeah? Okay, now how do you create? Because again, this no substance this no thing yeah creates from itself now how do you create well in the same fashion my love everything that exists in your world is just you taking that form let's see money this is my sp okay money is my sp <laughs> money sp health and everything else in between, my love, all the concepts that you can think of, and you, also the ones that you cannot even Im imagine, okay? Your government, your economical situation in your country, everything is you, okay? You pushed out. What do you, again, what it means pushed out? You in the form of that thing. Do you understand? So your SP, my love, is nothing but... You in the form of another person. So you can experience physicality. Okay? You give yourself somebody. Uh, let, me, let me see how do I explain this so there's no misinterpretation. But because you hold the concept of love, yeah? Romantic love. Well, you take the form of seemingly another, apparently another... So you can give yourself this kind of experience, the experience of romantic love. And within this concept, within your SP concept, okay, your SP is going to be exactly who you assume them to be. If you think they are like non-committal, yeah? Non-co... You know what I mean. Or, um, I don't know, a sweet person also. 
Oh, a narcissist. You, you decide how you get to experience your SP, okay? Because there's nobody else in your reality creating for you. There's only one source, do you see? First, God became you, yeah? You are God. And then you become your SP. You understand how this works? And this is why it's possible for people to change their minds, yeah, or they, they change their behavior for the better or for the worse. It's up to you. How do you see this person? This is how you're going to experience them. This is how, how you're going to manifest them. Again, manifestation means experience, expression. Okay? Manifestation is not a process, my love. For example, I'm a teacher, so I, there's no process. I am teaching. This is what I do. Yeah? If I was like a firefighter, I was fighting fire. <laughs> I don't know what I mean. So, and I understand that you ask me, then your SP doesn't exist? Yeah, of course it exists, because again, the infinity means all things. If, if you see it in your reality, that means it has to exist and in, in infinite forms. And this is why it's possible, the moment you start looking differently from a different point of view, at your person or at your money situation or at your health situation that's why it's possible for your health situation your money and your sp to take another form i mean to show up differently okay what do you say about your money situation what do you say about your money situation is it not enough is it too much is it i make a lot but i have a lot of um, expenses what do you say because it's you taking that form. So that's why you don't need to worry about what they say to you, what your bank account says, because it's ultimately you. Okay? I posted a meme that I love so much. You know, let's see a conversation between you and, and your SP, yeah? Your SP is here, within you, yeah? And you're here. And you think you have this conversation between two people here, between two avatars. And you ask your SP, who are you? And your SP says, you, not me, you. <laughs> yes, this is what I said. Answer the damn questions. <laughs> so anyways, just look at the, look at the meme that I posted. You, you're going to understand. My love, so you, when you think this SP of yours doesn't love you, when you think they don't want to have anything to do with you, it's actually you taking that form. It's you rejecting yourself. Do you have to work on your self-concept for that? No, girl, just uh, just change your mind about who they are, who you say they are. Change your mind about you in the first place. Yeah? What do you want your life to look like? Do you want to have people commit to you for the world to be generous towards you, for things to be easy for you? Then take that form. How do you take that form? By deciding you are that. You are all things, my love. I know it's... You cannot see it here, but because if I spend time to put all the things, I, I, I can't even, you know. You are all the things. You are infinity itself. Having a human experience, yeah? So, the moment you want to change something about your life, your money situation, your SP situation, your health situation, you must just become aware, my love, of that which you want Become aware of being it now, because you're all things anyways. If your SP shows up as not the best version of themselves, it's because you keep on choosing them like that. How do you choose them like that? Well, you keep, you keep your focus on, on this story you have about them, okay? You keep that story about them alive by you focusing on it, by you acknowledging it. Okay, if they're a narcissist towards you, if they're stingy, if they're not non-committal, whatever. That story stays in place. Your SP shows up that way because you keep on entertaining that story. You take that as your truth. So, do you see, again with the manifestation methods and such, my love, you don't actually need them. And the purpose of the manifestation methods are to transport you into another story mentally, not to change who you think they are. 
repeating these affirmations and but from a place of trying to change your sp is like you talking to yourself in the mirror girl like you tell yourself uh, i don't know show me blue hair but you're blonde will it work no it will not work girl do you need to make imaginal acts and all this stuff you don't <laughs> well do them if it, if you enjoy them of course you can but do them because you enjoy them not to change something on the outside it ain't gonna work because when you try to change something where is your awareness at on uh, the things that you don't have or the things that you don't like and you want to change so if you keep on looking um let's say we have a this is you here in the middle yeah We have a chair here. Bear with me. <laughs> you have a chair here, yeah? If you keep on looking at the chair, you ain't gonna see the table that you wanna see, girl. Do you understand? If you keep on looking at what's missing, if you keep on looking at what's uh, wrong, that's, that's what you're gonna keep on seeing and keep on manifesting. Do you understand? If you want to see the table, you have to turn to see the table. How do you turn? Well, you change your place in consciousness, my love. That's all, that's all what happens. What's a place in consciousness? Well, what you're aware of. And when I say awareness of, I also got this question. How to know that you're aware of something? Well, ask yourself, my love, what do I think about the situation? Because what you, what you assume to be true about the, your situation with everything... Well, with your SP, money, or whatever, what you assume to be true, that's where you are in your awareness. Does it look real? Does it look like the only answer, the only truth about that person or your money situation, your health situation? Yeah, it has to, to have this quality of solid, of um, reality. That's why you're here, <laughs> to be able to experience, to have a full experience of whatever okay let's recap infinity how does infinity create well from itself because there's nothing else available it, it, there's only one substance so out of what do you think god creates out of himself so god created you well you are god in this particular form with all your um, Beliefs, assumption, assumptions, um, opinions, preferences, and so on. Yeah, you're a very unique point of view of God. Are there more points of view of God? Yeah, I'm here. Um, even your SP is here. If you see it in your world, it must mean that it exists and it exists at infinite levels. Because infinity, my love, if the creator is inf infinite, its creation or its expressions have to be also do you get me? Because I also had someone asking me, how do you know how many versions of a person there is? Well, um, my love, infinite versions of everything. Infinite combinations of everything. Okay. Now, how do you create your SP? Well, you created your SP. Well, you know what I mean, right? So this person, this what it looks like another person. And it is another person. I'm not telling you it's an empty vessel. But what they show up, how they show up in your reality, it's really up to you. They're going to meet exactly the assumptions and the beliefs you have about them. Okay? How do we get to assume something? Well, sometimes we look at what they do and say. And from there we make up our minds that they are a certain way. Or sometimes we don't even need any physical thing to be happening in order for us to get to certain conclusions. Again, also think about assumptions as conclusions. Okay? The how you got to a certain conclusion is not so important. What's important here is the assumption because that's what you going to be experiencing. Yeah? If you assume they are a narcissist, well, girl, how do you pretend to experience anything different 
You know what I mean? If you assume they are non-committal, if you assume they have another sexual orientation from yours, does that exist as well? Yeah, because infinity, love. But if you assume they, they are not attracted to, you don't have the same preferences, sexual preferences. Well, that's going to be the case. And I know it sounds crazy. How are you telling me that someone that's, um, um, I don't know. You know what I mean, right? Are you telling me that a straight person can show up as a gay person? Yeah, I, I'm telling you that, exactly. And I know it sounds crazy. But the only thing keeping this person having that specific orientation is you. Your attention on this story. That's what keeps it alive. The moment you change your mind about who they are, they have to change. Yeah, I, I understand you're going to ask yourself, but how? Especially when there's a sexual orientation here, issue here, yeah? Girl, I don't know. It's not like <clears throat> they're going to walk, they're going to wake up one day and realize. It, maybe it's going to look like this in 3D, but what actually happens is the following. My love, you're here, yeah? Think about parallel realities as maybe train lines, yeah? Infinite train lines, infinite possibilities. I'm not sure if you can see because the, the light hits exactly here, but let's say you're here now. Your SP is, let's say this reality is the, the non-committal one. Huh, the moment you change your mind, you, you go to the committal one. <laughs> I'm not sure if I say that correctly, but you know what I mean, right? The moment you change your mind, you step onto another plane. Someone was asking, so what happens to all the versions of the people like where do, where do they go when you change your mind and you start experiencing something new they they're still here girl it's just like you're not with your awareness here so you don't experience them okay nothing ever goes anywhere because infinity takes all the space my love there's no more room for nothing else actually there's no room for non-existence or moving around yeah or disappearing or do you know what I mean? So this is what it actually happens until you change your mind again and you you land on a new reality, let's say, on a new train line, okay? And so on and so forth. Does this apply again with or sexual orientation? Of course. And I know it sounds crazy, girl. Don't, don't get me wrong. I know it sounds huge, big, crazy. Does this apply to physical death? Also, I'm not yet there. I still pretty much believe and trying to figure out physical death, okay? But it should be possible. All things are possible, right? Jesus uh, did it, right? Well, I'm not yet there. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm on my way. <laughs> but everything, if you can imagine it, it's because it exists. Okay, even what you cannot imagine, even what sounds like outrageous, is still possible. So again, your SP, my love, is just you under the form of them. I know how it sounds, but it's you taking this form so you can give yourself the experience of romantic love. Or you can give yourself the experience of uh, not being loved or rejected. or That's all. Do you have to work on your self-concept? Girl, there's nothing wrong with you. You're all the self-concept. Pick one. Who do you want to be? Loved, cherished, and adored? Done. It's here. It's here within, within you. Okay? Do you want them to behave differently, let's say? Well, go to the reality where they behave differently. Don't try to change what's happening right now. Because you trying to change something keeps you with the awareness on the thing okay let me show you let's put parallel realities parallel now 
<laughs> okay. You're here. Let's say you're here in the reality where they don't love you. Okay. Or they don't want to commit. Let's make a fancy ring like this. No commitment. Yeah. Well, trying to change this will keep your attention here. Will keep you with your awareness here. Trying to change with these affirmations. Yeah. You, you're trying to go from reality A to reality B like that. Girl. Oh, I wish you good luck. Okay. It's going to be very hard. And maybe, you, maybe you'll make it, but you're not, you ain't going to make it because of the affirmations, but because at some point you change your mind and you step onto a new reality. Okay. But what happens actually is when you want to manifest something different, yeah, go mentally moving consciousness to that reality where there is love and there is a ring because all realities exist, girl. Infinity here, infinity. So, you know what I mean? You don't have to try to make something happen. Move to where it's happening. Because on this reality, girl, this is all that happens all the time. No love plus no commitment. No love, no commitment. You, you're not able to change this. In 3D, it looks like, yeah, let me show you. In 3D, it looks like, Let's say you're here. Jesus, I can't. You know what I mean? This is 3D. Yeah? In 3D, it may look like at some point they were like no love and no commitment. Yeah? And then this happens love and commitment. It may look like it, things are progressing. Yeah? But what actually happens is that you move and as you move to a new reality, you start hardening that into fact. This is what happens also in the cases of them losing feelings for you. It's not that they lost feelings for you. You moved from feelings and commitment to no feelings and no commitment. You moved, not them. Do you understand my love? So... I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying people are empty vessels. Not at all. But you're going to get exactly the version of them that you assume. And when I say your SP is you pushed out, what I mean is a bigger you, okay? A bigger you is consciousness. And then you have consciousness plus stuff, assumptions. So this is what I actually mean. It's not you as the person. It's like my SP is not Alexandra, the avatar pushed out. Is what Alexandra represents pushed out. The total sum of what Alexandra is. Okay? That's what I mean. So when I say your SP is you pushed out, I say consciousness. is consciousness pushed out. <laughs> you have my drill here? Okay. And again, my love, if you don't like whatever is happening right now, the key is not to keep on looking at it, to place your awareness on it and trying to change it. Instead, change you, change the way you look at things, change your definitions about who you are or about what the thing that you want to manifest is. Okay? Moving consciousness, my love. Because you ain't going to be able to change a reality. Imagine this as a movie. This is a movie with... It's complete on itself. The action is the same from beginning to end. The actors are the same from beginning to end, let's say. Yeah? It's not that Brad Pitt transforms into Sylvester Stallone at some point And the romantic comedy into like an um, action movie. Do you understand? This is, yeah, this is the 3D impression that we have. That things are progressing. But actually what's happening is that you jump, yeah? So trying to change what is, <laughs> you can't because it already is. And it's complete on itself. Instead of trying to change the 3D, you go up in consciousness, my love. You, you go mentally in another place within yourself. You be something else. Hmm? Okay, I hope this was not uh, confusing. Well, it's not. I assume that people get it. And I'm sorry for my... 
my way of explaining things. But with normal people, I cannot view this, okay? I can't view this. Sorry. Okay, my love. Let me know how you understood this, if you have any questions. But your SP is your, your money is you. Whatever your house situation is you. The moment you start e identifying with something else, the health takes another form. Your SP starts taking another form. Your money situation starts taking another form. And there's a, a far easier way to go about this than affirming your... I wanted to say something. <laughs> your soul out. Or without having to do imaginal acts. And by the way, all these things are not... It's not that they are bad. What people... People mis mis they are misinterpreting this. <laughs> They think, okay, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to imagine me and my SP on a beach together with our kids. And then for the rest of the day, after that imaginal act, they still live in, he doesn't love me. We are in no contact. So that's just fantasy, my love. That's the difference between pure fantasy, okay, and actually living in, in the end, in that end, in that reality. So people do all these techniques thinking that some somehow magically I understand how Neville explains it, but it's a, go a little bit more in depth in his teachings. Okay? Don't take only the technique out and toss away all his teachings, girl. You know what I mean? Don't take only the technique. Really really get to understand what he tries to explain to you. Because I promise you're gonna, you're gonna understand, okay? I think I'm done, and I'm, again, I think I'm done. See you soon. Thank you. Bye.